What's up Android fans? Tekken Me's back and this time we're going to review Go Launcher. Go Launcher EX. So let's get to it. All right, Go Launcher is a custom launcher that you can install on your Android phone. So let's see what we have here. To install this, you need like some kind of home switcher, like either it's a home switcher or home smack application. I'll attach the link below or somewhere right around there actually yeah okay let's start go launcher with the desktop this is the desktop and we have different effects when we scroll from screen to screen as you can see this is like it's flipping upwards and then this is the inside of a cube as you can see then we have this that's fading to the right and let's see what else do we have the flip effect the cube effect inside cube page effect bulldozer effect like as you can see it's getting squashed let me squash that oh we can go this side and then what else cube effect again so these are the effects let's see what more effects do we have we can set to any particular one I have it set to random right now um, we even have uh, enter and exit transition effects that like when you go to your uh, applications Look at that. See, that's the TV effect. And then we have the, that's the fade out effect. That's the flip in effect. That's the windmill effect. So as you can see, it's different effects. Windmill, TV effect. So cool, huh? With that, not, not just that, but even, the, uh, even scrolling from page to page in applications has effects. Like watch, I have it set to random. Like this is the cylinder effect flip effect curl and crunch and then more apps like as you can see so it's kinda cool huh and you don't need to be rooted for this so that's the cool part so this is a flip let's see what else come on um, yeah so that's about it lots of different effects my my favorite one would be sphere effect I don't know why it's not coming right now. Let me exit that and then there you go. That's the sphere effect. Wait. There, see that? That's the sphere effect. And cylinder again, sphere again. So different lots and lots of effects. So you can play around with. So it's really cool for that. And then we even have uh different uh, go widgets like this one is the Twitter widget it's I haven't downloaded it. that's why it says download it's just a picture I can delete that so we have different go widgets like I'll show you which ones we have we can, when we hold down we get go widget as an option so we click on that and then now we have we have the go contacts widget which you can either have two by four or you can have four by four contacts so that's kinda cool and then let's see Go widgets. We have the Go Task Manager. I'll show you that in a sec. And then we have the Go Calendar, Go Message, Go Search, Go Facebook, and Go Twitter. So lots and lots of effect. Go Facebook kind of looks like Go Twitter. So just blue and white. And this is the Go. Uh, what is that? Google Search effect. Uh, Google Search. And then this one right over here. This is the Google, uh, Go Task Manager. So it'll show you what tasks are open and to kill them you just have to click right over there or right over there to uh, open different tasks. So it's kind of cool. And it shows you how much of your RAM is free on that bar right there. So I don't want to download it. If I click here it says do you want to download Task Manager for Go? So I say no. And this is the Go Weather widget. Right? So these are different effects. Let's go down to settings in Go Launcher and see what we have. So when we launch it, we can get themes. So when we press themes, you can install different themes. Like, I can change the theme right now. Let's have, uh, I have the classic theme. Let's go to iPhone theme. Actually, let's go to this one. Uh, the cartoon theme. Apply. And it's changed, see? Everything is cartoony. You launch it, you have that paper effect kind of right over there. See? Different stuff. So yeah, that's the cartoon theme, and I'll show you one more theme. Oh wait, theme, 
and let's see let's show you the iPhone thing applying and boom everything looks kind of iPhone ish right let's go to current see everything is kind of iPhone ish so yeah that's pretty nifty little app and let's go to the settings of go launcher so you have to go to preferences if you go to settings you go to phone settings so we have the theme settings where we can manually change everything like you can change the set wallpaper you can change the desk icon style the dock icon style the dock background and all that other stuff app drawer background and all that stuff do you want it transparent do you want it partially transparent and all that stuff and then we have screen settings screen settings we can change the grid size from 4x4 four four to 5x5 five five or make a custom grid we have wallpaper scrolling that is scrolling uh, the wallpaper scrolls as we scroll from home screen to home screen and then we have a uh, scroll circularly that is once we go to the end of the thing you can change and let's see screen transition effect that I already showed you uh, what else screen indicator we can change uh, which home screen you're on it indicator style like right on and uh, default you can even have numeric let's click on numeric and show you that and let's see dock row and loop mode and let's see what else do we have FX settings so right at, right over here I have everything set to random so I showed you all the effects already next up oh I skipped app drawer app drawer settings again you can change the grid size and all that stuff you can sh hide at, hide apps and all that stuff so that's kind of cool and then what else, what else operation settings so here we have screen rotation that's forget that uh, home key home key action what what does the home key when you press the home key what does it do does it show the app drawer does it show notification bar does it show and hide notification bar uh, does it show home screen or I can set that home screen and then previews I haven't shown you the previews yet and then glide up action glide down action I'll show you what that is advanced settings you don't want to really play around with these much so don't really do that and then we have the backup and restore so you can always back up your settings now if I glide it up that's the screen previews and I can go to any app I want like any, I mean any page I want boom right over there and then let's see glide down action I don't have anything set I guess yeah um, over here we have the numeric page number four page number three so that that's pretty nice another nice little stuff about go launcher is if you hold down an icon everything moves like the iPhone ish and then you can just press X and uninstall it right there or you can even glide it up on top of another icon and boom there you have it in folder and you can even go from here add more icons to this so as you can see I'm just uh, adding icons come on so yeah and then boom those are the icons I just added so that's kinda cool another cool thing I can just hold down this thing and then move it to home screen and now I can set it to any home screen I like so yeah lots of effects right there I have the folder boom and then if I want to move this this is a widget this is called the clock widget if I want to move this I just go hold it to the side and again boom I have all the six screens I, I want to move it to I can move it right here I can leave it back there and move it to boom it's on the first screen so yeah lots of stuff I like the folder stuff especially because you can do that I can just go boom add it right over there and then what else can I do I can even arrange the icons as I like like if I move one icon it'll set to different it'll space it out see so that's nice and then we have over here on top all or recent applications that I've recently downloaded or opened actually and then we have the running applications right over here and you can just kill the applications no you can't kill the applications oh you can maybe no you can these are the running applications recent applications and all applications so yeah, lots of stuff in Go Launcher that you can always customize according to your likings. So this is one of the and the best part about Go Launcher is completely free, unlike ADW Launcher EX, which is like three dollars or something. So yeah, definite download. Check it out. All right, 
that's it for today. Tech and me signing out. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.